I went through an ex's phone while he was sleeping. It was an iPhone so I just covered the camera with my thumb and typed in the passcode that took me days of subtly watching to find out. We weren't even serious. But he was living at my house most of the week and never contributing a thing so I felt entitled. I did in fact find that he was messaging multiple girls on Tinder and asking some girl on Snap to cheat on her BF with him. I went back to bed so angry I couldn't even think. I brought it up and he left and cut things off. I do regret violating his privacy but I'm glad I was able to move on lol. Edit the repeated insults are getting really old. Just keep it friendly. This was three years ago and I'm clearly aware it wasn't a good thing to do. This is a confession. Not a brag or invite to roast lol. You just saved yourself a lot of heartache. Trust me when the right person comes along you will never doubt if they are faithful you will. No and snooping will not even cross your mind. Don't feel bad and just ignore the people insulting you. Most have probably been caught cheating and are bitter. Obviously your woman's intuition was strong and you knew something was up. And if people think that someone finding out no matter the way is worse than cheating then that's pretty fucked up. Yes you have the right to privacy but no you don't have the right to play with someone emotions life. Etc. Just don't do it again. Don't go through your next boyfriend's phone looking for things that are not there. You will drive yourself nuts trust your gut. We weren't even serious. But you let him stay at your place for a week? Define your relationships before you start feeling jealous or doing couple things. He's a fuckboy for sure but you obviously knew that. One thing I have never understood. Especially in western culture is that it is completely unacceptable to look at your partner's phone but okay to hide things from your partner who perpetuated this bs what are you people hiding my phone is completely open to my spouse and vice versa i do regret violating his privacy why if you hadn't you wouldn't have known he's the cheater he can go pound sand I'm sorry that happened to you that's my biggest fear. I do regret violating his privacy. Yes. You did do a thing that is objectively wrong but in this case I'd say you're justified in the amount of trouble this action saved you made it a worthy action. We weren't even serious and living at my house most of the week don't mesh with me. Mostly saying that your snooping was somewhat justified. There's a threshold where things stop being super casual and it sounds like you crossed that threshold in your mind. Especially when it sounds like you were just confirming suspicions. A guy willing to go through the effort of trying to juggle different women at the same time is just waving red flags of sexual entitlement all over the place. There's a right way and wrong way to do things. Break things off before you start looking for the next. What a bum. At least the trash took itself out. Probably the best bad choice you made. In the military. We called it intelligence gathering. No harm. No foul clearly he was a pos to begin with. Should have factory reset his phone for him. No judgment. Don't listen to haters. Well done you. Sometimes we do things we shouldn't for the right reasons. You needed to know he was a player and you found out. Luckily he didn't stay any longer. You had probable cause. Anyone who isn't serious but practically moves in is definitely a manipulator. I don't see why you should regret it. Haha <laughs> he left and cut things off. How mature. I bet he gaslit you and made it your fault for invading his privacy. Also? He can go fuck himself. An ex? A computer file? I see nothing wrong with this. It's nice to know when one is being used. Lol living in your house? Fuck um. Read that phone. People act more self-righteous about going through a phone than being unfaithful. 
ethically if there wasn't anything on his phone then it'd be bad. But the fact there was makes it better. Hey this is my thoughts. Had you found nothing then sure you have every right to feel horrible but you must have had a gut feeling and it turned out you were right. After finding this out I hope you ended your relationship. You do what you got to do if it means you get the truth. Sure as hell they are not going to tell you the truth. You checked his phone shows that you never trusted him. So the relationship was over anyways. In fact good that it happened this way and he didn't just break her heart and walk away. My ex was similar and I have zero sympathy for cheaters. At least you didn't give him a chance to blame you for the breakup and you know it's all on him. I did this to a guy the first was seeing. He was messaging. As a friend. His long-term ex-girlfriend about what a psychotic person I am. Broke my heart. I think I would have preferred him hitting up other chicks instead. I don't blame you. You must have sensed something was off. The first time I ever did this in five years I was right. This might seem petty but I feel like while this is usually bad. If you're right. And have a reasonable reason to expect you're right. There's no reason to feel bad. I'm here. What's the gate code? Words still haunt me goddamn. I ain't mad at ya I've done the same thing before rolling on the floor laughing you saved yourself from being played out. Further. Good job. Only people who pay rent are entitled to their privacy lol. I've done the same thing. And I found out my ex was cheating too. They were asleep when I found something on their phone at 3am. The ex was out and on the pavement in 10 minutes without an explanation. You did the right thing. The repeated insults are getting really old, just keep it friendly. First time? IDK why so many people in the comments are delusional lol. In the end you found out he was cheating. So who gives a fuck if you snooped? He's a piece of shit. Nothing wrong with that. Also, people saying that's an invasion of privacy. I mean. Personally I wouldn't be in a relationship if I felt the need to hide things from them. I once did this same thing with a guy the first had been dating for a few months only to find out that he was prostituting himself. I've never done it with any other boyfriend but this one would disappear a lot and I had to see what was up. One of the most shocking experiences of my life. I confronted him and we broke up soon after. Almost the same thing happened to me. Except it was supposed to be a serious relationship and he was basically living at my house during COVID. When I tell this story to people they tend to look at me weirdly for snooping in his phone. But FFS I obviously wouldn't have felt the need to do that if something wasn't off. I trusted my gut and so did you nothing to be ashamed of. I went snooping once. I found exactly what I thought I would. Love of my life at the time was cheating on me with a girl on America's Next Top Model. We broke up. They never became anything. It was a fling for both of them. It destroyed me as a person for 10 years. I'm now happily married to someone I trust. But I've never gone through his phone. I'd never do that again. My take on snooping which I learned the hard way is that if you feel the need to do it, there's probably a good reason why. Just be prepared for what you find and having to end things. I have been with people where I never felt the need to snoop because they weren't shady. So I didn't snoop woman shrugging. Just the fact that you felt the need to look at his phone shows that you knew something was off. You were right. You did violate his trust but he violated yours as well. Move on and forgive yourself. Your gut was right so remember that you don't need a reason to end a relationship. Trust your gut and never trust a freeloader. I'm sorry this happened to you. For what it's worth. I spent a few years married to someone who was cheating and stealing hiding money pretty much the whole time because digging through his stuff would have been wrong. The law recognizes self-help as a defense to some trespasses. I think this counts.